Hello once again everyone, welcome back to another vlog. So it's been a fairly good week this week. I've mainly been focused on doing my FYP and my ad stuff mode, which is actually in the uh, the ad mod stuff and is in on Friday. Oh this this Friday, yeah. So I've got a couple a couple more things to sort out that uh, but I've mainly been focusing on that so I've been like getting my renders out and did the video twice of the going like around my ship scene type thing because the first time I had a bit too much depth of field on I mean it looked right for a couple of screenshots using that amount of depth of field to give a good look but for the video I noticed it and my lecturer pointed out to me as well um, when I went and seen him on Friday because I was a bit curious like oh, I wanted to she clear some things up um, on my end in to make sure I uh, Definitely having this and this and this and in there kind of deal. That's the only reason why I ever did is ask him a couple of questions. It's like, yeah, 20 minute walk, ask him a couple of questions, and take a couple of minutes of answering, and then a little bit of that. But you know, it's better to be absolutely sure this is what you need to have in the hand in rather than, oh yeah, not doing that or doing that and not needing it kind of deal. But yeah, so yeah, he's probably out. Oh yeah, you've got a bit more. Didn't do much depth of field, it's clipping the ship out and stuff, it doesn't look quite right, so I was just like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I saw that too, so edited the depth of field and we run digitally out and stuff and put that up, so you know, if you want to see what my admin stuff is, it's up on my channel, so yeah, you know, um, you can clearly see that, and then RFIP has been like writing out um, more stuff for the the R S section and the conclusion and the writing sections and just adding references and stuff in like that and it's that's the sort of process that I'm going through is rewriting and put what's an appointment with someone who can potentially help me from the library, um, who's gonna help go through the stuff. The, the, my FYP teacher said, Oh yeah, they're meant to be been able to prove you this stuff. I contacted them and and it's like yeah we don't actually not meant to be pre you this stuff but we can go for it and comment on what we think and stuff so I'm like yeah that'd be very helpful just because my dyslexia I mean, it sounds right to me, my mind and I've not tried to pre proofread it out loud really and that's one of the things I probably should do. But like I've read through it a couple times already and I'm like well I missed this word out here, but now it sounds okay-ish. It, it gets through stuff and the, the light, uh, I read my tutor said, oh yeah, your conclusion's not that long. Um, it's like it was about 500 words-ish um, for what we've, you've done, so I've added, I think I added another 200 words. I'm nearly at 700 now for my conclusion. It's like a total of 14,000 words for everything, but that includes references and bibliography, which don't count to the word count. I'm pretty sure that doesn't. Um, so I'm pretty sure I'm hitting around the 12,000 word mark, which is the limit for an FYP kind of deal. Um, but yeah, it's, it's getting there. I mean, it's, just, it's just the process of rewriting it and making me. me sure it makes sense and gets what I'm trying to get across kind of deal and then I'm gonna re not redo my practical but go over my practical and polish it off because I've been meaning to do that just have some of the you know, dialogue trees um, redone and then add the general stuff which I've been meaning to do but I've not done it yet because I've been focused on the game that we'll be making the beat and, and uh, I have much stuff with that going to be out the way uh, this week, or the game stuff now, but the Adma stuff, yes, and the game stuff is mostly out of the way now. It's all we've got to do is just polish off the bit and add all this stuff that we missed, like the collectibles and stuff, but that's mainly not. Can, well, it's, you know, the collectibles are kind of coming to me because I've written it out, so I'm, I want to make sure that the, the idea that I have. Technically, it gets in there and stuff. And it's put into the right order and whatever else, you know. 
That's us. The main sort of thing we've got to do, and I think the last puzzle we didn't get all the balance beams in that and operating that uh, for the beta. So we've got that to do as well. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, it's it's getting there. And as I get my workload laid down, I'm probably gonna go back to trying to get stuff organized for my portfolio, like go back and start writing again, which is an exciting prospect for me, is to be able to write something and probably going to try and get back to the night of shuffle, which again, it's something that I've not touched for like six months, <laughs> which will be interesting to go back to that, it's, the, it's like another project um, of mine called um, the Unijish War, which has been an ongoing project for the last six years of my life, me trying to write down. I did a lot of work in the first year or two, and then it slipped with me doing just a season, I picked it up again, and slipped with A levels, and picked it up again, and it slipped. When I came to uni, I've not touched it since then. But it's, so it's like a project that I still want to get on and do, and it's just, I don't know. Seemed to have the time, which might be uh, the project which I might undertake. So I keep meaning, oh yeah, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, and I think of another project, and I'm probably going to think of another project which I can undertake. Um, now, kind of thing, but you know, maybe I'll eventually get on to doing finishing off that project, which is basically I'm going to be. Re I wanted to re, re go over and rewrite everything I've got for it, and then finish off what I, the chapters that I need to do for it, but you know, it's good times, um, but other than that, uh, I've done, done some applications for jobs and other opportunities this week, I keep wanting to do more of that, just so I can have some room to do after I finish uni, um, I don't know, I've got several plans in, well, hopefully in place. I mean, I've applied for numerous jobs and I never get anything back from them. But if whenever I go home, have a look around home, maybe get a shitty job. Um, I mean, unless I get something from the games to then give me what job I apply for in the next few months, something back and say, yeah, we want you, come on board. Probably going to try and look for more testing and stuff um, for that and apply for them jobs. Uh, in, in around uh, this country kind of deal. <sighs> Excuse me, uh, uh, get some more conclusions. Sorry, I'm not seeing if I can get anything back. If not, get a shitty job like working in Tesco or whatever, something that just pays my way. And then work on like a portfolio type deal. Because that's something that I'm lacking right now, is just having a great portfolio. Having some really good pieces in that. I mean, my portfolio basically is my what pattern at the moment, and I know that um, Unabound wasn't the best written. I mean, there's loads of mistakes in that, probably. Uh, Helicopter was a bit better written, I'm more happy with that, and, and Night of Chivalry again, I'm more happy with that, or again, and I'm probably going to take a more professional height in when I start rewriting or writing up more of the Night of Chivalry stuff. By because I wouldn't usually do it in the writing process that I write a chapter. Don't go over it. Just just write the chapter, chapter by chapter, and then put up a chapter a week kind of thing. But I'm probably going to spend more time editing and rereading it just to make sure it makes sense. It's all gra grammatically correct and stuff. Just so um, I get some more professional work up on that because that's probably going to be my portfolio site until I decide to make a proper website for stuff. But yeah, I think that covers about everything I've done this week. Um, so yeah, uh, other than I've finished se watching season six of Deck Two now, which was good. I enjoyed it. Uh, I, I liked season six. It was good. It was a good season. And it resolved a lot of interesting storylines. Like the River Song stuff, finding out more about her because she's been in it since like season four, and we don't really know about her characters so much. And then season six was the one where it just revealed 
on her character, which is pretty good. Hopefully she'll be in season 8. Um, it's now with Peter Cavaldi, which hopefully gets... I, um, I think the film went great now for season 8. Yeah, that's the uh, stuff done. Alright, season. Go. Oh, don't do that. Now I'm released hopefully soon-ish. It's been a while since that has been done. Oh. Alright, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna end it here. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, Girl Scouts.